this next are two tutorials. Um, I'm going to show you how to first of all manually keyframe a motion path so the camera can move um, nice and smoothly along the water between these trees. And secondly, I'm going to show you how to use Animation Wizard. Okay, manual. The manual way of setting up your animation is like so. What I've done is I've clicked on the timeline icon and I have a timeline here. Basically, what I'm going to do is just drag time. So I need to, I only want to animate the main camera. So I have the main camera selected. I'm going to um, add two seconds of time and then move my camera like so towards the island. I'm now going to add another two seconds of animation and move my camera a little bit higher. As you can see the motion path is bending and I'm going to add another final two seconds of animation and bring down the camera there. I'm just going to raise this point here. Might just raise the whole camera up slightly so I'm not hitting the terrain. Let's preview that in the main camera view. So the camera comes towards the island, comes up over the island, and down slightly. And that is how you manually um, keyframe a motion path. All right, let's look at, let's destroy this animation. Let's right click on this timeline here and destroy object animation. And now I'm going to show you how to use the animation wizard to have the same sort of result. So I'm going to hold down this icon, animation wizard. I'm just simply going to press next, choose standard velocity, next, next, next. Okay, now I'm going to add the waypoints using um, this top view of my scene. So every time I add a waypoint, it's one second of animation. So let's do six seconds one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, and press next. As you can see with Animation Wizard, it automatically plots the object altitude um, versus the corresponding ground altitude. So it attempts to avoid any obstacles on the ground that the object, which the camera, would hit. Let's press next. And let's press next again to get out of that um, preview loop. And press finish. As you can see in the side view, um, this is where we've plotted the animation. Um, lines and the camera is going to come through here over the island and now we're ready to render the animation. To render the animation what we do is we click down here left click on render animation we choose our quality for example final quality um, you can choose the channel file you want to save I'm just going to save color frames per second and the frame resolution you can either choose internal renderer, which will render it standalone on the computer you're using, or you could use external renderer, which uses render cows or the rendered node network. And press, press render animation when you're ready.